Okay, so I was requested to make a tutorial on plist files. Um, because I'll show you here quickly. I just made a new UFO. I will not be releasing this anytime soon. Um, I just made a new UFO. I'll show you how it looks in game. Uh, let's play. I'll play this or something. I don't know. Hey, okay, uh, see how it looks. Um, I'll see some other random stuff which I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, Where's my golden copy? Uh, I just removed all the detail from it. And left it a little bit. Yeah, that's how it looks. Um, in game, you can see it here. So I'll show you how I did it because I made this ship a good. four months ago or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to add it to the game. Choose a ship to uh, place it over. What ship do I not like? Let's say this one or something. Has that got third color? Or the third? Oh, yeah, it's got nothing. Uh, let's say this one, I guess. Or maybe ship two. I don't I don't really mind ship two, so I was going to say ship two. So copy it. Paste it right below this one. And then how I usually do it is I create a new layer in the bottom right here um, and actually for this I'll just I'll, I'll do it in a slightly more complicated way just to show you. You can do it just by obviously using your this uh, magic wand selecting all these areas maybe going over them a little bit or something but the way I'd like to do it personally is I make a new layer uh, change it to maybe a different colour just so it's easy to see, you don't actually have to do this um, and then go over all the secondary colour areas so I'll just do this really quick I also noticed that there wasn't any tutorials for this on YouTube so I thought it was a good idea just to make one so a lot of people want to know how to do it and no one really does know how to do it. Okay, there we go. So we can see it's a different colour here. Um, if I just select this entire thing and paste it in, you can see you've got the secondary colour now because I did now set the layer. Complete this layer. Um, I'll say this how it is. Um, there's a ball that I was working on earlier. Um, so now I need to play, uh, put both of these into a file, into a plist file, um, and then I can put them into the game. So I think I should do the ship first because uh, it's easier to put into the game before doing secondary. Um, Yeah. Um, now I'm gonna open the game ship the game sheet p list file. I'm gonna scroll down to ship spider ship thirty two. I said I'd do a ship two, so ship two. Here it is. Okay. So you want ship two underscore zero zero one, or depending on the ship you want to do. Um, I'm going to say, so basically these two numbers here, I'll show you, if you go on full screen, you can see in this whole area here. So, these two numbers here, the first two numbers, are your X and Y values. So if it's 0, 0, it would be placed in the dead center. If it's like uh, 10 here, it would be placed 10, 10 pixels to the right, negative 10, 10 pixels to the left, same here, up and down. Uh, this is the um, size of the actual sprite. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Same with this and same with this. I don't know why it's three values, it just is. It's source size, size, and whatever. This is the location of it, so the location of the top left pixel. So, what I'll do is I'll go here, you can see 
for this number. And we see if we look down here, 164 times 84 in the bottom left down here. Um, so if I do 164 dash or comma uh, 84, and what I've got to do is I've got to copy this, paste it into three different sections. And for here, it says 10 and 1, uh, uh, 3, I can't read. 10 and 3336, three, 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 so you do 10, comma, 3336. Three, 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 save. Hit save on this one as well. Um, now I'll just select this over here. I will obviously have to change the location of this to make it work. Uh, now let's have a look. We go down to two underscore two zero zero one, and we change. We'll get onto that in a second. I'll just keep it as zero for now. Um, and then if we look here, we've got one nine eight. Uh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. One three two by sixty three. Copy that. In all three of these areas. Then for here we've got 198 by 3349. Um, and save. And this is already saved. Uh, I'm going to now make this white just so it's easy to see. So I just go lightness up to 100 and now it's white. Uh, I'm going to hit save and now I'm going to reload my game. Nice. I'm not going to click on a micro click, but we can see here ah, this, this texture is rotated, so I'll get into that in a second. You can see here the ships in the game uh, is probably a little bit too low. No idea what happened here. Probably a little bit too low, I'd say. Um, but I can fix that. Uh, the reason it was rotated is if you have a look at the bottom here. The actual ship it says texture key texture rotator key false. This one says true. So I'm gonna just change that to false. Uh, and then that should be fine. But for this I'm going to make it I'm gonna say six pixels up. It should look good. Now just bear with me and I'll sort out the secondary colour as soon as I've seen what it looks like in game. So you can see that's what it looks like. It's not not that far off to the secondary colour. See, change the colour of it. I'm just gonna test if this looks good in game. Let's find a ship part. Oh yes. Did it here. It's a nerf version of it. I can shift it once it's all done, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, but if I had to guess where is it supposed to go? I'd say it's on the right X uh, Y value. It needs to be shifted back about eight pixels. So we're going to get the X value here and put minus eight. Hit save. Reload the textures again. Very close. Uh, I'm going to say 12. Change that number to 12. Minus 12, so it's just moving the pixels back just a little bit further. And we should be good to go. Let's have a look quickly. There you go, see? You got your perfect secondary colour. Uh, now, let's have a look at the ship level. Personally, I think that's a little bit too far. The icon's a bit too high up. There's not enough space it's like underneath. That's what I think personally. So I'm going to move it up. I think I'm going to move it back by about two. Move it up. Move it nine. So if I add, uh, if that was in zero, that one's in six. So I've got to now add three to there and four to there. Just remember 
if you move in the entire icon on the screen, you've got to move both parts of it. So it will look the same until you actually get to the level. And you can see it looks a lot better. Um, I'll just play a level just to show you. I wasn't even really looking to add this ship to the section pipe, but I don't really mind since it's on ship number two. And I'd never use that anyway. I really do like this UFO, it's a really nice UFO, it's super, super comfy. Not a huge fan of the ball. I'd actually make the ball for this texture back for in a second. But I also don't like that. that kind of concludes it. You can see we've now got this ship in the game um, on ship number two. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Not usually one to beg for that but here we are. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.